What's up guys, it's Wiggle with Wiggles Outdoors and today I'm going to show you guys how to make natural cordage. Cordage is one of the five C's of survival that's taught by Dave Canterbury and I'm a big believer in the five C's. I think cordage is one of those things that if we don't have it, we are at a big disadvantage. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make that if you lose that paracord or if you lose some other cordage that you brought with you or if you just forgot to bring cordage and you find yourself in a pinch out here. And I'll show you how to make some of that. Again, it's not going to be as strong as paracord. It's not going to hold the 500 pound weight limit. You can make some of that wheel. You're looking at a long time. I'll show you guys how to make some natural cordage. So follow me. Lightning has struck this tree at some point and just stripped it of its bark. So what I'm going to do is take the rest of this bark off of here and the inside of that should be pliable. All right, so what you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna have your cord. It's gonna be a, a decently long piece. It's not too awful long. You're gonna make sure one side's a little bit shorter than the other. So you just pinch it off here, pull it back, and then you'll notice that one side's a little bit shorter. I'll show you why later. But what we're gonna do is called the reverse knot method. And what you're just gonna do is you're just gonna take and pull this away from you. Just rotate away from you. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take and pinch this off at that point. Rotate a little bit more. And then you're gonna pull this over top of this other piece. This piece that just came around, same thing. All you do is just rotate it away from you nice and tight, just for a second or two, just enough to create some uh, space there. Pull it away. And we'll do, keep doing this down. So what you're gonna do at this point, once you get down to the main bottom of it, I'm just gonna do an overhand knot or like a regular square knot style. Uh, you just take, pull it through, any kind of knot just to secure it. It's, it's, not too picky on that honestly so again and if you don't have enough left at the bottom all you gotta do is just unravel it once and then you can do it from that one and that's what I want to do here pull it through kind of work it working each side of it and then you get it nice and tight and then what you can do is just cut the excess off and we'll go ahead and cut that off now cordage looks like this is one of the quicker methods that I've found it's just uh, back rolling or reverse knots that's all it is um, you just roll it back this way loop it around roll it back this way loop it around this is what the end copy looks like this is a very short piece but you can use this for something small I'm sure uh, but again just to test the strength of it I mean you can see it's very durable I mean, my knuckles are turning white from pulling on that. So. Guys, his face is turning red. <laughs> it's, it's extremely tough. Uh, and that's from rotten wood that's been down for a, a very long time. So it's um, definitely an option to use. You can pull off large strands of this. You can even interweave more onto this kind here. And I'll show you another method now. This is the type of vine that grows on the ground. I have no clue what the name of it is, uh, but it's a ground vine. Usually looks like this. And if you know what the name of this is, please leave a comment below and let me know because I've asked forums. I've looked all over the internet, read through books. I can't find the name of it anywhere. But you can pick it up in large sections. And this goes for pretty much any vine, as long as it's not something like poison oak or a skin irritation type of vine. Because a lot of vines do have that quality to them. But all you have to do is just gently follow it up. And you can pick up a very large section of this stuff. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get some of that now. So what I've done here is just done a simple roll around. You can't really reverse roll this vine because it, if you roll it, it could potentially break. This stuff is not as strong as bark is. Uh, but what you do for this is just roll it around one time, tie it off at the very end just like I've done. And then uh, what you'll do is uh, you just re-roll it. And I'll show you that now. So all you're going to do is you're just going to take the product here and just uh, bend it back over again and repeat the same thing. So you just thicken it up double. And I'll go ahead and start that now. I 
I find vines to be a little quicker to make than I do bark. Um, just because I, all you gotta do is just roll it. And vines can be relatively strong, so you can make things out of it, like spring snare traps. Actually, I, I prefer vines for different traps because it's got a slick property to it compared to a lot of the um, actual barks that are out there. And when you get to the end of it, all you do, instead of like doing the box knot where you go around, or I, I'm not sure if that's how it's actually called, but you just take, loop it around your finger, come back through the loop itself, and then just square it off just like that tie it up there we go that's how you make natural cordage I'll show you the strength of the vine now compared to the bark itself so at this point what I'm going to try my best to do is I'm going to pull with everything in me and I'm going to try to break this. I'm not going to let any slack out. I'm going to roll it. I'm going to do everything in my possible power to break this stuff. We're going to start with the uh, bark tree. I'm not, I'm not sure what type of tree that was because where it's been dead for so long I, I can't identify with just the bark alone on that one so I couldn't tell you. Uh, but here is the bark rope. took some rolling but you finally got it to snap you see what kind of pressure that can withstand that can easily stand up to a, a trap or something like that as for the vine not as much pressure but it did take quite a bit you can easily break that vine compared to the rope uh, from the bark tree but all you gotta do for this stuff too I mean it's, it's rope that is made of natural cordage it's nowhere near paracord and all you have to do is just double layer that stuff up and you got this this is a single layer of the bark it's thicker, but it's bark also. Uh, this was double layered vine, and it still took quite a bit. Just uh, see if I can break it in a shorter. <sighs> can't break it. And the, the shorter it is, you know, of course, can't really break it right now. But that's, uh, that's natural cordage for you. If you guys like this video, go down below, like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out some other bushcraft videos I have out there. I have all kinds of how-tos on here. Again, go down below, like, subscribe, and comment. Woogles Outdoors, peace out.